This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And did we see some sort of capitulation yesterday? That last hour of frenetic trade yesterday where some of the program trading came in, where we saw the S&P market drop down below 100 points on the day, where we saw the Dow move from down 600 to down 1,500 in a matter of minutes. Was that just computerized trading or was it some sort of capitulation? I look at what happened to volatility, the volume during that period yesterday, and to me, that seemed like capitulation. From a trader's perspective, it seemed like that's it. I'm out. I just want out of my long positions right now. Now, <clears throat> we've seen a comeback today. Market has been all over the place. 900 point range. Actually, it's wider than that right now. S&Ps are now up over 30. Don't know, you know, where this is going to end on the day, but boy oh boy, you look back here and you have to digest what's going on and say have the market fundamentals changed here? Has anything really changed between yesterday and today versus where we were last week a month ago? What is different? Yes, we did see interest rates rise and pretty rapidly, which caused the surge in volatility, which caused uh, surge the, the panic caused the panic in the marketplace, but fundamentally nothing else really has changed. We still have the expected three and perhaps four rate rises coming from the Fed later this year. Earnings top and bottom line are fantastic. So why the spike? Why the freak, the freak out that we saw yesterday, today in the marketplace? You know what? Again, I think it's, it, it points to all signs of capitulation. That being said, let's review what happened in, in the uh, ES mini option market yesterday. So almost 10 million contracts traded, options and futures contracts traded, 3 million ES mini options traded yesterday, significant amount on the put side, 80% traded yesterday. Across the board in March, from the 2650 strike all the way down to 2400, those were the option volume leaders yesterday. In addition to the end of month February put side, the 2400, 2500 puts yesterday off the charts volume wise. Is that going to change? Absolutely, it's going to change. We don't see 80% puts trading every day. We know that typically we see a three to one ratio or so, which is you know somewhere down in the low 70% typically we'll see. So that 80% put volume yesterday will not stick. It just, it just won't, it doesn't happen that way. Let's switch over to Bitcoin because actually the Bitcoin and crypto market has actually taken a little bit of a back seat to the overall market the last few days. It has been just as volatile. We've seen absolutely just an incredible, incredible uh, amount of net worth come out of the crypto markets. In, in fact, the overall crypto market actually dipped below $300 billion for a slight time yesterday when just a few weeks ago it was up over $600 billion. Let's talk specifically about Bitcoin futures here. Yesterday we saw them trade in a $1,500 range. Now, we saw that happen once or twice when Bitcoin was trading in the mid teen thousands, like 15,000, 14,000, not when it's trading down at 7,000. So the velocity, the range, the volume off the charts. We, we're seeing today alone over 2,000 Bitcoin futures here trading at the CME. What's really interesting to note, we're seeing the Feb and the March future really trading lockstep with one another. Right in line, there, there's almost no disparity whatsoever between the two. So. You know, volatility is here. How long is it going to stay? Anyone's guess. Near future, yes, going out, you know, two, three weeks, six weeks. Who knows what's going to happen, but we're seeing volatility across the board. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.